brought to you by Curious Marine Land. Now, this is a video on this introduction to a couple other ones I'm going to put together. And what we did is an investigation on diffusion and osmosis. So um, we have dialysis tubing, and what we did is we placed starch and glucose in a dialysis bag, placed it in before, and added iodine, and watched to see what happened. So what you're going to see next is the directions for the students, and then there's a follow-up video that goes over the over the results. So that's pretty much it. So stay tuned. is to figure out this solution. All right, look, this is starch and glucose. Now, if we, you can already see it's spread out. Maybe it sinks to the bottom, but it's it's at equilibrium right now. It's spread out. So, what you're going to do is you're going to contain it in this. This represents a cell membrane. And the question is, can the starch and the glucose permeate this bag? Will it leak? All right. So what? I'll just set that there. So while I'm talking. This, you're going to need a couple things, all right? So pass this around. Make sure one person from each group gets a cup and gets one of these straws. <laughs> so not everyone needs it just because you're in groups of four. You, at your stations, you already have the tape. Wait, this is not tape. This is a uh, string. Now, if you come really close, you can get an idea of what this is. In this bowl, this is dialysis tubing. And what you're going to do is you're going to kind of shimmy it between your fingers here. until, And you might need to wet it. All right, so now I've got it open. That's what the straw comes in. You're going to use that just to hold it open, okay? You're not going to pour the solution. You're not going to pour the solution down through the straw. That's for later. So this is what's going to happen. One of you has a straw. That's the person who's come back and grab the dialysis tubing. The person that has the cup, as soon as I'm done docking, one comes here, one comes here and goes and fills this up at the sink and goes and waits back at your uh, station for your, this person. Now here's the thing, this can dry really easy, so when you get back to your station, you might need to dip it in your water in case it dries out. Now, what are you gonna do? You got string. You're gonna tie off this end. Then, you might need to wet it again, then take this off, go to one of the sinks, and you're gonna pour this in. You're not gonna use all of it. You'll pour it in to say about here, and then with another string, tie it off. When you're done, you've got String, string, and in, in this is the starch glucose situation. Get a paper towel. You're going to blot dry. Make sure none of the starch got on the outside, and you're going to plunge it in this cup of water. Well, we'll have water. At that point, you're then going to add iodine. What does starch do in the presence of iodine? We did this earlier in the air. It's going to turn color, right? So what we want to do, we can test, is starch permeable to this bag? So You'll see iodine is probably going to diffuse in. Water is going to go in through osmosis. And then you'll see it in the bag, uh, that black iodine color, right, as it reacts with starch. The question is, if iodine leaves the bag, what should you notice about the cup of water? It will change color. It will turn that black color. If it stays in, it's impermeable. If it leaves, you have evidence you can measure. Now, okay, so that's starch. That's iodine, that's water. There's a fourth thing. What's the fourth thing? What's else, what else is in here? Glucose. Glucose. All right. The objective is to correctly write out and observe the presence of glucose and starch in the bag or in the water. So what you're going to do is you're gonna, we're going to put it in. We're going to have to let it set for a while. And while you're letting it set, you're going to start thinking, I need to write out simple declarative sentences, meaning a statement about starch, glucose, Protein, wait, why did I just say that? Starch, glucose, iodine, water. All four need to be correctly written on your paper. You need to say, oh, it can go, it can permeate the bag and the delivery system. So you have to have a statement of whether it can pass through the bag, using the word permeable or impermeable. And you have to say it moved through di diffusion or it moved through, well, what does water do? Osmosis. osmosis. That's the only one you, time you should use osmosis. The other one used to say diffusion. Or it didn't diffuse because it couldn't get out, or it couldn't get in. All right, that's what we're gonna do. So, um, you know, you know, does everyone have a cup and a straw? So the straw person comes and picks this up, and then went, and the uh, one person gets the cup, fill that up with water. Have a third person pick this up and take it back to your station, and we'll get this set up, submerge it, and then we'll wait about a half hour and then test the water for sugar.
Sugar. Sugar. How, what do you mean? How do we do a glucose test? Sugar. We've done it before. What did we do in the past? We used Benedict's? And then we heat it. And we heat it up. Well, there's another way of doing it. And it's called glucose test strips. It's going to be kind of like pH paper. So what we'll do at the end, we'll find out. We'll stick a little, little strip in there. And I'll have a color code up on the screen. You'll see if it turns dark green, it's positive for glucose. So that's the mystery. We're going to write about all four. Are they permeable? Are they impermeable? And the name for how they moved. All right?